All right, yeah, how about, how about first? I'll start with my brew, all right? All right, okay. you go ahead. All right, so do you know about the ooze creature type? <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah, we've all heard of the ooze creature type. All no, right, I don't sweet. know. Please inform me what oozes are. God, I'm, okay, I'm unaware. So, so oozes are a creature type that are oozy. All right, all so... Right, do, they have, hold on, no. do, do they have the ooze like Jagger? Shut up. I hate do you. You know about <laughs> hard and scales. Okay, you know about ooze... He's gone. Oh, he's do you know about hard and scales? <laughs> Yeah. Do you know hardened scales? Everyone knows what that does, right? Mm -hmm. I've yeah. never played with the card, but I know what it does. Okay, cool. So what we're basically building is we're building a deck that uses the oozes that put counters on itself, as well as some spicy cards like Avatar of the Resolute. Oh. And it's hardened scales ooze tribal. Mono that just green. Sounds it. like plus one plus one counters tribal. Yeah. It just I mean it like is worse hardened scales affinity. But they run a lot of oozes, like enough that the list that I am basing this off of, Rug Cavern of Souls, naming ooze. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. What is the point of Cavern of Souls? I don't. It, it makes them uncounterable. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I guess. But then you can't cast so this your deck... Avatar of Discord on curve. <laughs> now, one card I don't agree with in this deck is probably... I don't agree with the fact that... It seems to be trying to do two things at once. Like, it's trying to be Ooze Tribal, but it's also trying to be Hardened Scales. Yeah. Um, it runs Experiment 1 as its one drop, because Experiment 1's an Ooze. It runs a lot of Scooges, um, a lot. I run Every time I play this dude, he always gets, like, two out per game, and it's very annoying. Um, he runs Mana Gorger Hydra, which is annoying All right. with yeah. Bogle. Not an Ooze. It's not an Ooze. Uh, neither is Avatar of the Resolute. So I mean that's fair, but Avatar of the Resolute at least is good. Yeah, that's Manigorcha fair. Manigorcha is good. Manigorcha Hydra is kind of annoying against Bogles well, right up until I find a path to exile. You saw me play uh Miracle Grow the other day on stream, like uh what was it? Manigorcha Hydra was the worst card in that deck. Um the deck like, did all the deck also runs uh, Vines of Vastwood and appears to be running Rancor either in the main or the side, but I assume the main. Because one game I played against him, game two, after sideboarding, he brought in a Thrun and equipped it with Rancor. So he seems wow. to be kind of trying to play Mono Green Stompy Hardened Scales Ooze. Yeah, it just feels like Mono, mono Green Hardened Stompy plus Hardened Scales. <laughs> plus, plus a lot of Ooze, because it also runs things like Predator Ooze. Which well, I don't I mean, think... Like, Predator Ooze is green. even hard. I does like it yeah. run? Does old it run mono acidic green, slime? Yeah, old mono green uh, aggro played uh, predatory use because it was just like an indestructible blocker that could block yeah. pretty much anything. Right. <clears throat> I I think that the biggest problem with the deck is it's trying to do too many things at once and it needs to be more focused on what I it agree. wants to do. Yeah. So you I feel like do ooze tribal though. I mean, like I mean, yeah, easy. that's what I'm saying. It should focus more on ooze tribal because like hardened scales is already a thing. There's a you're not you don't really want to play a worse version of something that already exists. And okay. hardened scales is already a do, thing. Doing a quick yeah. gatherer search, and there are exactly six oozes in modern that are not green. <laughs> I mean, that's enough if you run. Oh, I lied. Oh, One of them is green. blue green. That doesn't count. So there's five oozes that are not green. Wow. <laughs> Can anyone name one of them without looking it up? Uh, Tarmogoyf. Tar Tarmogoyf is not an ooze. <laughs> Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh, it's the, um, oh, what is it? They're the oozes that get, like, plus one, There's plus one, or whatever, if you control a permanent of a different color. You yeah. know, shapeshifters I are can't remember what the, I can't remember yeah. for the life of me what their name Blood is. Ooze. Torian Muller. Bloodhall Ooze is Blister a one coil red here. for one one. And at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control a green permanent, it gets a 1-1 counter. And if you control a black permanent, it gets a 1-1 counter. And those are separate abilities. So if you have a both green and black permanent, you get two plus one plus so one counters every turn. So what oozes? It's basically better Bogle. Well, no, because this is red. Uh oh. Yeah. Mono red John oozes. John oozes. oozes. Dude, mono red Actually, oozes. Actually, Blood Hall ooze with, like, hardened scales seems pretty tight because... If you've got both a green and a black permanent, it gets four counters every turn. Plus, yeah. hardened scales already counts as the green permanent. Yeah, yeah. so you just... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ooh. Look at this. We've already built something <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> Dude, we haven't even so, begun to descend to the depths of stupidity. 
What? One of the other good oozes, by the way, is the combo piece we all know and love, Necrotic Ooze. Of course. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So you could. You that could card jumped it. up. It did it really? Because it someone mentioned it in an. It's like eight dollars. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Someone oh mentioned it in an article. I think TCG player mentioned it in an article. And it shot up. I don't know if it's held that price. Star City's got it at oh, seven. Yeah, yeah Necrotic Ooze. Uh... I mean, Necrotic Ooze is good. Yeah, someone mentioned it in an article. <laughs> let me find. Let That's me find what why, article um, it was. So something else. A standard card jumped up in price too, but I don't remember exactly what card. Star of Extinction. <laughs> well, no, because it did. It did jump up to like four dollars for no reason. Well, uh, really? Dragon's was mine. playing it. Star of Extinction in the yeah. sideboard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess they lost Hour of Devastation, huh? Yeah. Sorry, it's a Star City Games article. Let me take a look at this. Nick, oh, it was an article they wrote about how it was on the verge of breaking in, of breaking out in modern. Oh. Is it really, though? I mean, you could probably break it. Like, there's um, already they... decks going around that play Necrotic Ooze combo. Well, this is an Abzan <laughs> Necrotic Ooze deck right here, and it runs like... You know, it's it's basically the Duskwatch Recruiter combo, but you can use Necrotic Ooze as an extra piece in case one of them dies. So, I'm, like, super on this Jund Oozes thing now. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I just really want to... Well, like, you know me. I play Jund a lot, so, like, yeah. that's my thing. Mm -hmm. But like Jund player wants immediate Blood... value. <laughs> Blood Hall... Yes, yeah, shut your mouth. Blood Hall Ooze just seems sick. Yeah, I don't think you'd run Necrotic Ooze in it, though. It doesn't seem oh, very... No. In... You don't... No, you, you can't get a scooge. You, you get a scooge in the graveyard. Boom. You mean a scooze? Scooge. It's a scooge. It it's doesn't a scooge. have a G in its name at all. Scavenging oh, no, Ooze. Never mind. No, it's two it's Gs. Scav God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, its name is not Scavenging Ooze. It's Scavenging Ooge. It's Ooge. Scavangling Ooze. <laughs> scavangling Ooze. <laughs> <laughs> Skavangling Ooge. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna look up some Jund oozes here and see what That's I can what find. That's what I'm trying to do. Rifle. My internet has given up. And by my internet, I mean just Gatherer, because everything else seems totally fine. You should use uh, Scryfall, my dude. Here it yeah. goes. I don't like Scryfall. There are seventeen Jund colored oozes in Modern. 17. All right, I want to look. That's at enough these. for oh a deck. Oh my gosh, Acidic Slime. Uh, okay. It's an ooze? I always thought it, it was is. slime. Dude, just play your five drop creature and blow up their Tron land. Let's see. You know, if you, you know if, you, if you believe hard enough, um, Palaka Worm's an ooze. <laughs> <laughs> that is no, it's true. not. Oh, you would definitely play Inexorable Blob, right? Yeah. I think so. It seems super hot. Also, it's super easy to get Delirium and Jund colors. That's just fair. start thought seizing yourself. That's yeah, why you'd probably, you'd probably play Street Wraith because you can also eat it with Scavenging Ooze. Oh my god. Yeah. And that way you can just like hit Delirium really easily for Blob. That seems hot. Why is this deck a thing? Why? <laughs> it's not a thing, but we're going to make it a thing. We're going to make oh, it a thing. We're going to force gonna... it. We're breaking Do we play Manaplasm? Oh, I don't know what that does. Two and a green, one one. Hey, you cast hey guys. Plus guys, X got... plus X for X is at CMC. Guess what's an ooze? What's that? What? Handwire the Writhing Township. <laughs> oh no! It's an Eldrazi ooze. Guess what is also an ooze? What? Chameleon Colossus. Dude. Yeah? You're oh, angry. how easy is it going to this deck to get Delirium? <clears throat> wow. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Well, how well, hard well, is it gonna be for this how hard is it gonna be for the deck to get delirium? Not very difficult. Because we've got an inexorable blob. Delirium, okay, well, whenever it attacks, if there's four if you have delirium, put a three three green ooze creature token on the battlefield tapped and attacking. Wow. Hey, hey, uh welcome to the conversation five minutes ago. <laughs> when when I mentioned that. You're welcome. And they talked about playing Street Wraith to help get delirium. That was like a minute ago. Whatever. I, I accidentally left the call during that time, no, right? No, you didn't. Yes, I, I, I'm going <laughs> to say I did. during that exact moment. It was after that conversation. No, he, just, he had an out-of-body experience. And then we just run <laughs> Beast Within, and, and we've basically got a deck. I don't think you'd play Beast Within. You're in Jund. You just play Fatal Push and Terminate and Assassin's Trophy. Yes, but they're going to expect that. Who's going to expect Beast Within? Nobody. You're not wrong. Exactly. But why would you give them a 3-3? 
Because so your creatures you are bigger. Stone rain them. Exactly. You can also do that with Assassin's Trophy. And Stone Rain. Yeah, you could play <laughs> Stone Rain. Oh, just play Stone Rain. Stone rain. <laughs> Do you run Mitotic? Hey, no, 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 stop. Everyone's thinking too hard about this. Right. Acidic Slime also blows up lands, and it's a an ooze. Oh, I mean, yeah. oh my god, we built Ooza. All right. Ooza. <laughs> what? Jesus. <laughs> I Pond, hate all of you. Pond, I want that wait, to be known. Do I have known. the to kick, kick you out of the chat? I do. <laughs> Don't oh, do man. that. I like Pond okay, ooze better. So if I'm reading Phytonic <clears throat> Slime, right? That could be a spicy sideboard, like, one of against, like, a human's deck. Just because it's so annoying to get around, right? Oh, it's Mitotic a Slime? Yeah, that seems like it would be it's hot. A, like, it's a 4-4 for four, 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 Creates two two twos that have, when this dies, create two one ones. Yeah. That yeah, seems it, annoying. It blocks forever. Yeah. That seems like a good sideboard card. Or mainboard is a one of, but I, I again, I my curve in most of my decks in my only monitor deck curves out at three, and that's one card. My biggest problem whenever I type, whenever I'm like sitting here building decks, is that I always find that I have like this just wall of three drops, yeah. and then like nothing anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this ooze deck appears to just want to curve like maybe five. Fair. All right, so we've built. Jund ooze. <laughs> we went from strong. mono green ooze to jund. Okay. Yeah, I mean that. I mean it works, right? Like yeah. it, it looks. I don't like know. It would I be... don't know about work. <laughs> hey, hey it does on the something. bright side, Austin, you have a deck for zero to dees. I do. <laughs> Think about this. Think about this, guys. Turn one blood hall ooze. Yeah, turn two strong. double hardened scales. No. Yes. Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Turn four card. Kill your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Turn four card. <clears throat> that just seems like Jund, but you're also running Ooze. <laughs> you just take out the Tarmogoyfs and, and, like, so do that. <laughs> and the Dark Confidants, and you add more Oozes. <laughs> just take out all the good cards. <laughs> and replace like, it with Ooze. <laughs> Hey, Scavenge Goose is also a good card, and it's already in the deck. That's I'm just saying. I guess. You have one good card. Congratulations. <laughs> also, you'd probably drop some of the, like, crappier lands and put in, like, Cavern of Souls. And just put in more oozes. More oozes. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> Who needs lands when you just run ooze? Maximize number of oozes, add Aether Vial. <laughs> oh, look, wow. we did it. <laughs> oh, man, that is... I didn't even think about Aether Vial. <laughs> yeah, Aether Vial's really good. It dies to your own acidic slime, but whatever. <laughs> it does. You have to target it. Just target a land instead of Aether Vial. <clears throat> but what if your opponent Armageddon's? <laughs> so we're running. <laughs> well, then you're just done. Oh, I guess. Then you your own fault. I think it? at that point you should just stop. So are we running there. four you're Blood Hollows? Far more than you did. So four Blood Hollows is right? Because that's just yeah. a good card. What about how many Experiment ones? Four. Yeah, Four. The experiment one is really good. You know, yeah, believe it or not, we're, believe it or not, we're gonna have an all right curve, all things considered. There's a lot I of mean, one and two drop oozes. Experiment one just seems relevant though, right? Because like, they need to path it basically. Man, if only there was an Urborg, uh, Tomb of Yagmoth, but for green. God, Urborg. We just finished that cycle. Urborg Tomb of Nissa. <laughs> you mean the Tron lands? It would. It would just be like Lanawar. So, I've only put in 12 cards, and the deck's already $156. Guess what card <laughs> I put in first? What card? Aether Vial. Of course. Oh. That makes sense. Um, how many Predator Oozes are we running? Four. Probably not a lot, considering it's Tribal Green. No, we're Ooze Tribal. We're running four. Three. three. Alright, fine. Three. Three. How you many Slime Foot the Scavangling Oozes, though? Slime Foot the Stowaway is basically an Ooze, right? What? The word slime even... is in his oh, name. Oh, slime foot? Oh, yeah. baby. <laughs> is he a slime? I'm not sure. He's, no, I'm I think not he's sure. a fungus. He's a fungus. Yeah. yeah. But the word slime is in his name. That doesn't help. Does it help. <laughs> How many fungus are there in, in Magic there the Gathering? We're not getting into We're a not... game. No. <laughs> no fungus tribal. Someone else can do that as their deck, but your deck is oozes. <laughs> right. I'm building it right now. Save right, it right, for next week. So, are we running hard? in this deck? Obviously. Yeah, how many? Possibly. Four. Four. Alright, how many Cynic Slimes? 
probably just like one or two. I'll run one acidic slime for now. And then four uh, inexorable blobs. What does that do? That's the delirium one. Oh yeah, how do I spell inexorable? <laughs> Is it with an I? Don't don't worry, he's just his lesbic. <laughs> D for listexia. <laughs> let's see if I got it right. Hang on, let's get rid of that C. The, the name I bet it's C. completely wrong. I got it right. Oh Oof. my god, Boggles player can spell. Shut up. Boggles player has more than a third I think, grade I think we need to, uh, to clap yeah, a bit. I think we need to give a good clap. I don't mean to be this person, but if you get rid of the eight balls and the hard scales, I feel like this deck is like two dollars. Yeah. Uh, well, You're scavenging goose. If you use yeah. the promo, scavenging goose is it's like twelve. Right, but I'm not doing it. Because <laughs> they're like I, three bucks a piece or something. I think I'm gonna run wow. one my. They're probably goose. more than that, actually. That's worth a Google. Oh yeah, and didn't you want like Liliana of the Veil in this deck? You don't actually have to. Are there any? Are there yeah, any okay. Okay. Walkers? okay, level. Scavenging oozes are five. I was wrong. All right, level with me here. Are there any black oozes we're actually running, or did you just want to run black for blood hall ooze? Uh, you basically run black. It also gives you hand attack and removal spells. I mean that's fair, but does this deck really want those? Yeah. Yes. My totic slime. Hey. A, you want removal because all of your creatures kind of suck on average, <laughs> so you want to like get through blockers. But, all right, like, so what I'm hearing is four a, assassins you want, trophies. B, you want hand attack because you want to be able to um, stop your opponents from killing you Before when you they're playing a deck that... Okay, but by that logic, Bogles you. should run hand attack. Yeah. No, but Bogles is on an interactive, right? You're, you are physically trying to interact by playing your creatures. Bogles is trying not to interact by playing creatures that can't be interacted with and playing like, things I, like Leyline that prevent you from being interacted with. I guess it curves out at like five, and that's only two cards. The majority of the deck curves out at three, and that's still only three copies of a card. Plus you have, yeah, yeah. if you've got a lot of three drops, it's fine because you're playing Aether Vial. Yeah, and like right. keeping it on three is perfect. Right, I'll just do two Thoughtseize, four, or three Inquisitions. I need a die roller to determine what deck I'm talking about today. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, while you're doing that, I will talk about... Oh, okay. Are you going to talk about you. yours next? Hell yeah. This is, this is spice. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. So, how do you feel about Burning Tree Emissary? Uh, it's a good card. I mean, I like that card. It's very playable in Popper. It's how do you feel... In modern. How do you feel about Boros Reckoner? Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> What's happening? How do you feel about... Fulminator Mage. Uh, all right, I mean, okay. it's a good card. I sense a theme here. Hold yeah. on. Are they all hybrid cards that are red? If you're playing mono red, five color. Five, five color. Five color mono red. Mono red. I love oh it. My this God. is so good. <laughs> I have been talking about it for two years, and you I have. finally sacked up and did it. <laughs> I, like I don't it. have a full I deck. I hate it. it already. I love this. It's so good. <laughs> okay. So for there's not a lot for blue function for uh like hybrid hybrid cards or whatever. I, wait, are you playing? There uh, is there is playing, on Strikefall. Are you playing? Oh, uh, it really? It's literally I put in includes red and is hybrid, <laughs> and I have literally every hybrid red card. Uh, oh, there's not very many. Are you playing a uh, frosting weird for blue? No, or you play Noggle weird? Hedge Mage. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. I wow. love this deck idea Dude, it's a already. Mana two two that when it comes in it shocks your opponent. <laughs> Seems dece. You, Dude, you get to play murderous red cap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get to play. What else? Is... You, can, you can play figure of destiny. <laughs> Holy crap! That actually seems like relevant <laughs> and good. Yeah. I actually this is sweet. I like mono red. Yeah, it's mono red, but it's sometimes five colors. <laughs> <laughs> Do you run you anything? Play Avatar of Discord. Are any of your lands not mountains? No, they're all mountains. Okay. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> okay. He can't, he can't be Blood Moon. Yeah, yeah. exactly. My You're favorite never gonna ever lose the blood would moon. actually be if you had no red sources in the entire deck. 
if you if you played all your cards off of their other colors. Oh God. <laughs> no, that that that's actually a good idea because now, even if they blood moon you, you're you're still playing you're still it. Still good. <laughs> yeah. They'll bring in blood moon and then not realize that you can still play every card. No, no, deck. they'll they'll realize. They'll realize. <laughs> they'll realize very quickly. So, what color sleeves are you using? <laughs> That's the real question. You use a different one for each red. card. You use a it different one for red. each card. I think it has to be red. You should get all of them altered so they don't have the hybrid like border. Like, they have the they're just, it's just border red. It out. <laughs> I mean, think about it. This is like you could very easily build like mono red mid range, except instead of putting in actual mono red cards, you put in like all these every other cards. color, <laughs> all these other colors. You could only play this deck in Commander with a five-color Commander, but... But the, we're not talking modern, about Commander. Play it we're talking about, about modern. modern. I know. Dude, how do you feel about three-mana four fours? I mean, that seems hot. Uh, Dude, that seems Ward, fine. Forger. That card can't block. Why do you care about blocking? You're mono-red. <laughs> He's not wrong. It's a three-drop four four that can't block. That's physically its all abilities. <laughs> Yeah, that's literally it. It's also an element. It goes in the warrior deck. <laughs> I hate You're not everything. wrong. You're not wrong. He's not wrong. I know I'm not wrong, but I'm also not exactly right. So you probably yeah. play Blood Moon in this deck, though, right? I think uh, you do as yeah. well. It's the only card that's technically also just red. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Would you play Lightning Bolt? Probably. Yeah, I think you know, is like there that. is there a split is there a hybrid lightning bolt? There's scar, but it doesn't deal three damage. It only deals one, but it deals it, it puts a minus one minus encounter on something. That all right. seems bad. Instead That's of running instead of running lightning bolt, we're running oh. No, hold on. Instead of running lightning bolt, we're running javelin. gut shot. What, what is it? Flame javelin. Flame javelin, because that's colorless too, right? It's a, it's the hybrid of yeah, two it's are triple red, red deal, yeah. deal something. I don't remember exactly. Wait how a much. minute, I think it's three. Or, you said maybe. Boros Reckoner. Yeah. Then you have to run Star of Extinction. Oh baby. <laughs> oh, Kill your opponent baby. one shot. Or or we could play Scred and uh, Snow Covered Mountains. Oh, that's Ooh. that's even better. That I, if Ooh, I die to that, that, I wouldn't even be bad. Team's hot. You know what else runs Scred and Snow Covered Mountains? Uh, Scred. my big red deck. It runs two Boros so, Reckoners. So Scred. Yeah, well, no, not really. It also runs uh, Sin Prodder, if you know what that does. Oh. Not playing Swans of Bryn Argyle, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're literally, at this point, we're literally just building five colors Scred Red. Correct. <laughs> I mean, that seems spicy. It, it certainly does. We all need lists for everything, and I will absolutely play these on stream. Yes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we'll just do a day of, I'm playing all the stupid things we brewed that week. Oh, no. It's the podcast stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can do that on Sundays. I have, like, a longer stream on Sundays. There you go. Nice. Podcast stream. the stream the idiot brewery. God, that seems sweet. God, I gotta play all these crappy decks, though. <laughs> yeah, you gotta play a bunch of real bad cards. Hey, mine seems functional. <laughs> I mean, so does this they're all, red they're all, they all the hey, They all have spells that are able they, to be cast. They can. They are all modern. modern. They are all modern legal decks. Hey. Mm -hmm. Okay, go with me on this journey. Got no. it. Hearthfire Hobgoblin. Uh, I have no idea what that. You does. know what? I want to let you know right now. I have never even heard of that card. Three hybrid red white for two, two, two double two goblin soldier with double strike. Why are Ty playing that? I don't know. Because it's a three drop. <laughs> That's yeah. fair. I think I remember this from Modern Masters Two draft. Uh, I think I last picked it and never played it. Yeah, that I mean fair. Right. To be fair though, I only drafted Modern Masters Two once, and I drafted every removal spell that I saw. <laughs> Did you uh, my win? deck was like my deck was like four creatures and nineteen removal spells. Jesus, <laughs> that wow. seems bad. I mean, I I went undefeated. <laughs> oh, Holy <fuck>. crap! <laughs> it was really <laughs> good. What gluiters were you playing with? I don't even remember what the creatures were. They were like flying creatures that were like it was basically like I have a gray ogre, but you don't have anything. 
Grey Ogre, that's such a bug. What the fuck was that? That was me being disgusted with Jack. <laughs> Why did I have a beard in that flashback? <laughs> <laughs> I, like that. I don't know about you, but I've always looked like this. <laughs> Alright, so are we moving on? Did we did we crack um I did we crack five dollar red? red. red. That's easy. Alright. Well, uh, so, uh Austin, you wanna go up next or should I? You got it. Alright. So my my oh. list my so my deck is for standard, right? Okay. Oh boy. So uh I'm naming this deck uh Turbo Ego. So you basically play play Unmoored Ego, and then every spell that copies a spell. Oh god. So you just unmoor ego your your opponent out of the game. Grixis ego. Yeah, that's what Grixis it's Yeah, ego. Oh no. See, just name all lands and just laugh. <laughs> well, that team I, like I don't hard. know a lot about standard, so I'm <laughs> unable to comment on this list. <laughs> Think about so, it like this, right? He can theoretically Mirror... lock his opponent out of the game if he names their lands. Like if they're Jack. playing Demir. Yeah. Other Jack. Yes. You you know of the sadistic sacrament test, right? Of course. This is like that, but on steroids. Oh <laughs> Jesus. You're just what like What did hey, you do? Remove twenty or thirty cards from your library. Yeah. Okay, can you still win the game? <laughs> oh look at that. You definitely can. Yeah. I'm gonna remove your best thirty cards. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you have so, twenty three lands and seven spells left in your library. That's a lot of lands. So uh so including Thousand Year Storm, Marari Conjecture, and Primal Amulet, there are six ways that I can copy a spell. Oh, I just really love the idea of Thousand Year Storm plus yeah. Unmoored Ego. <laughs> Hello, yes, I'd like to see your deck, please. And then you throw it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you just chuck it across the room. Oh, Pretty oh nice. man. You I'm look your opponent in the eye and you rip each individual card in half. <laughs> Say goodbye to Exodia. Just throws it off the boat. <laughs> Does this mean that I have to play standard on stream tomorrow? God, Are you I gonna play so. this deck? Oh, I mean, boy. I'm gonna play all the decks that we brew today. That's fair. Oh, no. But you that means I'm not gonna build your list for you. <laughs> I'll build I've it. Been I will about... build it. Do not worry. My about list that. is almost done. I've been working on it this entire time. <clears throat> I've had my list like prepared for like six weeks, but that's because I was brewing it personally. And it's just well, like in my list. This deck was originally mono green ooze, but here we are, so. <laughs> this is more, this is basically just Golgari ooze, and then the red is just four blood hall oozes. Wow. And two, and a raging ravine, because I realized how much synergy raging ravine has with scales. Did somebody just honk? Yeah, who honked? Was I picked up a dog toy and threw it across the room I bought uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a clown somewhere? <laughs> We're all professionals here. I, I, the most I, professional I did not think that the microphone would pick that up. <laughs> I'm a trained professional. It was really loud. It was really loud. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. How do you match up in an ooze deck? You don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> you put four big spear in the sideboard. That is, yeah, that sounds. I'll I'll run three. No. Yes. Four. Why would you run four? Even more. Oh wait, no, you have a stack of trophies too, don't you? Yeah. So don't worry so about it. You're fine. No, I'm gonna run two damping spears in the sideboard to improve it. So we have five ways to deal. There with you it. go. <clears throat> so anyway. Your standard so, deck is is aggro ego. How do you? It's turbo ego. A grigo. Turbo ego. It's a grigo. Grigo. <laughs> Pawn shop first. Wait, were you just about to ask how I win? No. Your no, opponent can see. That's how you win. You, okay, so you're getting the thousand year storm, but then like, what are you doing on the? So turn six, you play thousand year storm. Yes. Right. Turn seven. You have four mana outside of whatever you need, plus to to cast Unmoored Ego. So what are you casting there? 
All right, double cast and expansion explosion. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and then you no, you're not. Take your opponent and place them directly into the sea. Exactly. <laughs> right. Here's my question. How are you playing? Here's what's really gonna happen. Turn six, plays Thousand Year Storm. Opponent's turn, they Ixalan's biting it because you tapped out for Thousand Year Storm. <laughs> right, and the next turn, turn seven, and you the die. Next, and the next turn, you just double cast Expansion Explosion anyway. <laughs> and then next turn, your Mirari Conjecture reaches three. Wait, so I wait. feel like you have a problem your where your deck's playing a lot of bad cards, bad cards to make thing. one card wait, work. No, no, no. Uh, turn five, Mirari Conjecture means that it goes off on turn seven. Yeah. Which is when you will be casting yeah. your egos plus your double yeah. casts. <laughs> oh, oh my god, my brain is exploding. <laughs> so you have to get to turn five to cast Ferrari Conjecture. You know how you get to turn five? Two further turns. You know how you get to turn five? How? Fogs. Yes. I <laughs> That's mean, green! I was, I was just going to play it in like a Grixis control show. I mean, that works. Yeah. Shrendiv Mizzet. Yeah, there you I'm go. not gonna run to miss it, but he's Why so not? good. You're not wrong. The deck but... should not have any win cons except for Unmort Ego. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's not true. It does run Lee Guildmage. <coughs> what? It Is runs... it the one that? That's the, the one the that it, it can. It can. Yeah, the red blue one. It can tap to copy target instant or sorcery spell to convert mana cost X, where you have to pay the. Oh. Yeah. It can copy Unmorty Go. Yeah, it sure can. That seems relevant. <laughs> that seems to seems, be on seems theme with the deck. How's Weird. the mana base? I mean, I guess you can make three color, in Grixis at least, you can make that work pretty easily. Yeah. You got like check lands and two of the shock lands. Yeah. Plus the other check lands for those too, so. Yeah, and then you also just run like Primal Amulet for yeah, yeah, yeah. value. Yeah. Because that seems good, too. Yeah. Get that hashtag value. You run Goblin Electromancer? Oh, I probably sh Should I? The only the will. only thing it discounts in this deck so far is Unmoored Ego. <laughs> 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 and there's 23 and cards it, in this deck. But what if you cast Explosion? Okay, so... Makes Dude, that's one. your actual win con is explosion. <laughs> so I I exile I exile for yeah yeah cool. exile oh, exile Ooze. most okay, of their library. List already. <laughs> we do. Jund Ooze has a list already. Ah, the sideboard oh, can okay. be adjusted. It's what I wanted the sideboard to be, but oh, I basically is... just took the Jund sideboard and added a couple oozes. Just added a couple oozes. I mean, there's one acidic slime, one my dead board. I mean, it's oh wait, hang on. Sideboard. There should be two collective brutalities. Well, then you'll have sixteen cards in your sideboard. No, because there's only fourteen in the sideboard oh, right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I forgot to finish that. Um, there we go. Let's see. I mean, this list looks fine. Your curve like... is pretty okay. It looks yeah. like it could win a game. It sure That's does. really all we're win, asking. It'll win a game of Magic A match is asking too much. <laughs> I mean, I, I was thinking the same thing about Five Color Trade Binder, but... Yeah. <laughs> sure. Did you win a match? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I too owed a match. <laughs> last, night, last night, Bant Walkers with really bad mana base or whatever went 3-2. Uh, and two. Wow. Any nice. deck in my... It's an actual modern deck now. Yeah, sure is. It's a real modern deck. I mean, you could make that deck work really, really well if you had like a better mana base. So yeah. whatever. Oh yeah. All right. Are we ready run Elsbeth. Oh yeah, I'm ready for yours. Okay. Yeah. So all, right. all of you know how much of a kick I've been on Ongroth the Flame Jane, correct? No. Yes. So we all know what that card does. Yeah. Yes. Now, do we like the cards? Blightning. Yeah. No, I, I hate I, that yeah, card. I love actually. lightning. <laughs> Killed my Death family. God of revenge. Yeah, that card's yeah. great. Rakdos Augur Mage. Uh, All right. So, do you know what Rakdos Augur Mage does, Jack? No. no, I don't know what Demigod of Revenge so, does. Hold Demigod on. Demigod of Revenge is, is a good card. It's uh, it's. Oh, I know the card. Yeah, I see this card. Yeah. Okay. 
So Rakdos Augur Mage is one red, black, black, three, two, first strike. Tap, your opponent thought seizes you, and then you thought seize them. Wow. Oh, I did that your card. Turn. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, dear God. <laughs> you play, it's black, red, mid range that is essentially trying to empty its own hand and then just ruin its opponent because it doesn't care. Like, you're like a mid range deck that is almost like a suicide zoo type deck. Wow. Dear God. You also play a card which you've probably never heard of called Jagged Poppet. No. What? what? Which you may have heard the name of because it was from a Loading Ready Run episode of Friday Nights. But the card Jagged Poppet is a 3 4 Jesus for one Christ. red black. Whenever you are dealt damage, discard that many cards at random. Seems pretty bad. Jesus but whenever it hits, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, but whenever it hits your opponent and you're hellbent, they discard that many cards at random. Do you just hate your opponent? Oh, yes. No, they don't oh. They don't discard them at random. They just discard them. Oh, they just discard that many yeah. cards? Oh, okay. You're yeah. so still discard three, three if you Let me confirm. Yeah. You have built Rakdos Hellbent. I have built Rakdos... Hand hate. Everything is gone. <laughs> I have built, like, Havoc Festival the deck. Rakdos, which, Rakdos perfectly spoilers, balanced. Spoilers, this deck absolutely plays Havoc Festival, and it of has course. Slaughter Games in the sideboard. Oh, wow. Jesus. You have to think about this. Black-Red midrange has a lot going for it. You could yeah. very easily port this into a Blood Moon-style deck, because... All of your black spells can easily be done with like a bunch of swamps, and then you just don't care about your mountains and stuff. Right. What does um, what does it do against Bogle? What does it do against Bogles? Yes. Um, it probably <laughs> plays a wrath in the sideboard. <laughs> okay. So what yeah, happens I mean, when Odom Arbor up by Bogle? <laughs> right. Okay. Um, what well, does it do okay, against wait, Tron? What's your Bogles? Well, what, what's your plan against the Tron? What yeah, is your plan against the mail? There you go. It's basically just Jund minus the Tarmogoyfs and the Blood Raid Elves and the Scattered Wolves. <laughs> Jund minus everything good in Jund. That's not true. Liliana you still get. Jund you also minus get Lightning Bolt. Bolt. You, set up, you set up a lot. Yeah, you also get Bolt. You set up a lot like, um, like Jund does, but you're just a lot more aggressively slanted, and you get to play a lot of really interesting creatures. And the reason that Jack I was talking about um, avatar of Discord is because the deck originally at least played it. I don't know if I'm still going to play it now. I mean, yeah. Um, it's basically But I really away. like Avatar of Discord because if your opponent doesn't have Lightning Bolt in their deck, it just, like, kills them very aggressively. What if they have You don't really care exile? about your hand being gone. You probably even play Alms of the Vein or Fiery Temper. You should oh, play Nyx of Oh boy, I like Nixithid. That seems hot. <laughs> does anyone else know what Nixithid does? No, <laughs> no. I, we play Bogles and a, Dredge. It's a one black black seven seven that gets minus one minus one for each card in your opponent's hand. No, it's it's target player's hand, so you can oh, target, target yourself. Yeah. Wait, is it really target player? I thought yeah. it was target opponent. I'm pretty sure it's target player. That's that would be some spice. When it enters the battlefield, choose an opponent. Oh, choose an uh -oh. opponent. Okay. It's minus Slightly minus less each card in that opponent's hand. Basically, Death Shadow, but for hands. Correct. Yeah. It's just a big boy. You could also play Dread Slag, but that seems terrible. I don't know what that does. Dread Slag is a 9-9 nine, nine for 5, I think. I think it's 3 red-black. It it's... gets minus 4, minus oh. 4 for each card in your yeah, hand. Yeah, that seems bad. Oh my god, you're going to kill it so fast. <laughs> what if your opponent just pull from tomorrow's targeting you? Wow. And then my creatures die. Yeah, I get it. I understand. It's basically Grove of the Burn, Willows. <laughs> seems hot. I'm okay <laughs> with drawing cards, though. That seems fine. This deck just, like, really doesn't want cards in people's hands. I noticed. Including I mean, like, your own. one of your big, like, this is, one of your this big... This is, like, anti-card flicking tribal. Yeah. I'm so your sick deck, of my yeah, opponent you're, flicking you cards that they're not allowed to do it anymore. Okay, okay, so I want to see your black-red don't-play-anything deck versus Woodsy's please thought sees me deck. <laughs> Woodsy wins. <laughs> yeah, Woodsy wins. <laughs> Woodsy just wins. That is your deck's um, uniquely bad matchup in Modern. No, I think what this deck does yeah, is... Yeah, that's true. That would be, like, the worst matchup ever. This deck just presents the question to your opponent. How good are your top decks? 
<laughs> it's true. Plays How against Jund. Pretty are, good. Is it, is it good enough with all of my creatures in play that are going to kill you? Yeah. I have a feeling Jund could probably do it. They are like the top deck deck. I mean, yeah, that's true. They are best in top deck. Mode. Well, and Tron. Tron. Tron is actually probably the best top deck deck. Yeah. He's just it like, that very just well. like rips an Ulamog, slams it. Windmill slams Ulamog. You should uh, do that against Infect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then they die. And then they died. I had one Malir in my sideboard specifically for Infect, because like, we have at least two people who play Infect, and that's enough. Yeah. So, the real question that I was going to ask about this deck is, do we think Demigod of Revenge is like worth it? I think so. Demigod of Revenge I is really good. I think it's pretty good. fine. It's just like the problem is that like I need. Well, I mean, I know that I'm putting a lot of cards in my graveyard, but like I need ways to fuel it into my graveyard, right? Yeah. Because right. like just discarding one is like terrible. Would you play Faithless Looting? I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe it'll work. I don't have know. Have you Have you seen the Demigod of Revenge deck? That's like in I like the it's spicy. Revenge. It is Sweet. really spicy. I like Demigod of Revenge as a card. I think it's really cool. Yeah. Just 20 year <clears> opponent <throat> in one turn. Seems hot. Man, we is had a, a lot of good there a decks buried today. Buried Alive effect in Modern? Is there a what? Buried Alive effect in Modern? I don't think so. There's Final Parting, but... Final Parting's like really bad though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Green, I know there's a green black one that does the exact same thing as Final Parting. <laughs> Gerard's orders or something. Jund Ooze is almost a thousand dollars. Holy crap. Yeah, it's got a Jund mana base and Liliana's in it. I'm I actually didn't put Liliana's in this one. Oh, you put Aether Vials though, right? Yeah. Like a good like... person. I mean, hey, at least all of the cards that are expensive it are is $986. To other decks. I mean, <laughs> the expensive cards are transferable. Engineered Explosives, Collective Brutality, Maelstrom Pulse is really only in Jund and maybe Abzan. Uh, Aether Vial, The Land Base, Assassin's oh. Trap, You have four Cavern of Souls, that, that's why. That's also transferable. Yeah, it's like $319. Yeah, it Jesus. is. Oh, this is <laughs> yeah, it is. This is pretty expensive. Wow. It's basically Jund, except we lowered the price a little and put in some ooze. <laughs> Why is Predator ooze kind of expensive? It's not. That's like it's three for five fifty-five. That's like a dollar fifty-ish. It's a dollar eighty-five a piece. Why? That's not. I don't know. Probably because it's an all right card. Why I feel is like it in the tooth and nail deck? Because it's an indestructible. I, oh my god, it is in the Tooth and Nail deck. Why? <laughs> Wait, because that doesn't make any sense. Why is it in the Tooth and Nail deck? I don't, well, see, it, I don't see it I don't see it in the last list. I don't see it in the last list that ran it. I think it, somebody must have played it. Someone must have run it at some point. Yeah. Why is this a thing? What? Because people like playing bad cards. Why are people playing Tooth and Nail? I'm so confused. Tooth and Nail's a good card. Tooth deck. and Nail's a sweet card. Shut up. <laughs> But it's also a CMC seven. This you're deck a CMC is CMC seven. This is just this deck is just high CMC tribal. If you're not casting for nine. I'm yeah, sorry. I agree. I'm sorry. Yeah, this this deck is just high CM. Tooth and Nail is just high CMC tribal, basically. I mean, yeah. All right, so Jack, you have a card we're supposed to build around, right? Yeah, I got I got some spice for you. Okay, so how All many right. cards do you have that are like ready for us? Uh, I have. A couple, and they're all. You're gonna. You might sense a theme. Okay. Oh, so, I, I have okay, a so here's, too, the, here's how uh... this works, right? He's gonna read off a couple cards, and then we're each gonna go down the line and have. We have to have a different build for these cards that are in. Okay. Okay. All right. So who wants to start us off? I mean, I'll come up with a deck first, as long as I all know right. the card. I'll go next. Okay. So Aiden, you have the longest to respond. Okay. No, I so it's not. I'm doing. I'm. We're changing this up slightly. So it's not like I'm giving you a list of cards. I'm gonna give each of you a different card. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, Never mind. Okay. okay. That way, we're definitely getting different decks. All right. Got it. All right. All right. So who's going first? Jack. I'll go Jack. first. Yeah. All right. Jack, your card is Dolmen Gate. 
How do I spell that? It's a two mana artifact. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to attacking creatures you oh, control. Oh, that one. Right. Okay. <laughs> Why is that 880 EDH? All right. Yeah, you can do oh, this. Oh, boy. <laughs> Damn it. I should have gotten this one. I've already got a deck ready for this. <laughs> All right, I've got an idea. Okay. Oh, am I you supposed gotta, to? Am I just you, supposed to say it now? You got to say your yeah. idea. All right, so it's Boros Aggro, right? Okay. Here's what you do: you run Tajik Legion's End, Edge, and Dolmen Gate. Your creatures can't die from combat damage. They can't die from non-combat damage. How does your opponent win? They don't. They board wipe. No, they don't. They destroy all creatures. No, you don't let them do that. In Boros. Yes. You, if they if they play it, you just frisbee it out the window. <laughs> can't play it if it's not in play. Exactly. <laughs> you can't play your spells if they're not in the game. Okay, so exactly. you can just I'm run gonna... Avacyn and give everything indestructible. There you go. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell Jack what I would have done. What, what, what would you have done? done? Okay, yeah, this so, isn't getting you out of the hellscape that is the next card. But... No, that's, that's fine. I just I, I really like the idea of Dolmen Gate. So, have any of you heard of the card Death Pits of Wrath? No. no. So it's a three black black enchantment that says whenever a creature is dealt damage, it is destroyed. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. No. So you play oh. Death Pits of Wrath and Light Minefield, which states that whenever a creature attacks, it takes two damage. Why don't you just play oh. Pyrokemia? You could also play that, but that's boring. Because then <laughs> you play Black White, and you just play like Enchantress or like uh, like a prison style deck that basically attacks with a bunch of creatures that your creatures never die to. But whenever your opponent's creatures attack, they just die. Yeah. Because they take two damage, and then Death Pits kills them. But Dolan Gate protects your creatures. You know, Death Pits of Wrath hasn't been reprinted in a while, and it's only fifty cents. If we make a deck with it. We Maybe it's well, pretty, so that's yeah. pretty spice. We're buying into it. We're buying into Death it Pits of Wrath. It was in 8th edition, right? It was yeah, nine, I think eight, it was 8th edition. Oh, boy. Yeah, it yeah, did the, get reprinted. The artwork for it is so good, by the way. Oh, my God. Yeah, I love it. Them are so good. All right, who's next? It's me. Yeah. You? Yeah. All right, you get, you get some spice here. Your sure. card is Dream Spoiler Witches. We're all... We're all frantically Googling. Dream Spoiler Witches is three and a black for a 2-2 fairy wizard with flying. Oh, boy. And whenever you play a spell during an opponent's turn, you may have target creature get minus one, minus one until end of turn. The art uh, looks so like it's trying to lobotomize. This, might be, this might be cheating, but um, there is an enchantment that I cannot think of the name of that uh, is from Lorwyn. It's also a fairy tribal enchantment. Bitter um, Blossom. Bitter Blossom is from Morning Tide. You, you heathen. <laughs> uh, Dirty heathen. <laughs> it it states whenever you cast a card during your opponent's turn, you may draw a card. All right. So yeah. what you do is you play those type of cards, and then you play a bunch of flash creatures that are fairies, right? All right. Right. So like obviously Vandillion Click. Um, Spell Stutter Sprite. What's the what's the other click that's really good? Fendalon click. Did you already say that one? I said uh, the click. Uh, okay. I don't the one that um, oh Mistbind click. It taps down your opponent's yeah. lands. Yeah, and then there's the one that like champions. Or that's no Mistbind click is the one that champions. Yeah, so that seems pretty easy. That was kind of straightforward. All right. You didn't give All me right. a difficult one, Jack. Let's see That's if Aiden gets a difficult one. Oh, jeez, this is gonna suck for me. No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, Build me a deck around Flesh Rider. Wait, I know that. Um, hold on. I know. I think I know that card. Two wait, and two wait. black for a three three horror with transfigure. Oh yeah. Which creature? One and two black. Sacrifice this creature. Search your library for a creature card with the same converted mana cost as this creature and put it into play. Play only as a sorcery. Huh. Um, let's see. What are some good four drop creatures? Necrotic Goose. Hazard. Chameleon Colossus. Chameleon Colossus. That's true. Tazri. 
if we play the four drop from Corset nineteen, that's they a could six. The Ravager. No, well we can we can obviously just play like four drop tribal, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, n nothing screams good curve like four drop tribal. Well, oh. if you play either vial and you leave it on four, yeah, you have to bang. get there first, and then well, you can play proliferate them. spells. <laughs> Oh, okay. Play, Thank uh, God. Play Tezzeret's Gambit. <laughs> yeah, as you play Atraxa. <clears throat> she is Atraxa Predator's voice. Right, just but in she's Commander. not modern legal. God, yeah. that'd be so fun though, transfiguring for Atraxa for just for proliferate on either vial. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what I was thinking is the the six six from Corset nineteen. That's a four drop. But when you cast it, you have to sack a creature. But this one, you just like put it into play as a six six. Oh, uh, Demon of Catastrophes or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. That's pretty Is spice. there a bunch of, like, cast trigger downside creatures or that's, whatever? That's exactly what I was trying to think of. Yeah. That you could just, like... Nope. Hold on, isn't Eater of Days a 4-drop? I don't know what Eater of Days is. It? Is. It's a 4-drop 9-8 with Flying and Trample. When it comes into play, you skip wow. people. Wow. No, it comes into play. You say it comes into play. That's yeah. Different. Yeah. We'll play I mean, uh, we'll play torpor be... orb. We'll play torpor we'll orb. We'll play torpor orb, yeah, to get around that. This scene oh yeah, yeah why not? <laughs> <laughs> he just gave up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so argument, what if I abrade it? Uh to Kotli oh. Ogre Guard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh wait, so we're in hold on, we're playing mono black torpor orb. With a way to buy in our Eater of Days. So we're playing yeah. Phage the Untouchable too, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Well, I think I think if we're going all in on Torpor Orb, we might want to be black-white, just splash for, like, Takali Honor Guard. So we have eight Torpor Orbs. We, yeah, follow oh, the Bogles. of Hushwing Griff. That's true. Yeah, we got to follow the Bogles rule, so we'd want to be in white for four Takatlis. Yeah. Well, Hushwing you should also Griff. play Hushwing Griff, which does the same thing. Yeah. That's true. But, I mean... I think so I'd you have 12 ways to torpor orb things. Oh, yeah. And then a bunch of creatures that suck when they come into play. Oh, yeah. I like that it. That's great. It seems spice. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. This is sweet. I'm not oh, playing I... this on stream. You're not <laughs> playing this on stream? Why not? Not this one. <laughs> He'd rather play standard than this one. I got a couple more. Yeah, sure. What? Sure. Yeah, yeah, keep let's going. do one more round. All right, I'll so first. Oh, I have, I have cards also. If, uh... Oh, sure, sure, sure. Going. Do you want to do a round for each of us? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, All right I'll go first. Hit You're me. going first? All right. I'll go first. All right. Uh, so, the worst deck so there. in modern, I guess, uh, build around alf alpha brawl. Al alpha <laughs> Remind <All right>. me. <laughs> uh, I'm reading it. It's six damage and to double each red. Feature. Yeah, so each or target creature deals damage to its power equal to all creatures its con its owner controls, and then they all deal damage to it. What? Yeah. Why and how, Aiden? Wait, I figured it out. He's already broke it. It's it's you. It's any creature, right? Yeah. No, it's target creature and opponent controls. Oh Damn my it. god! Ah, oh, you just wanted to kill Bogles, didn't you? No, 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 no. I was you saying could... you could. Oh no! Wait, you could totally do it. Okay, hold on. Let's see what you would do. <laughs> like as a as an idiot who plays modern, I'd probably as as a bogus player in modern, I'd probably just throw this in some form of amulet titan shell as a really janky card. I know it's boring, but that's all I got. Austin, okay. got it. Stuffy doll, and then you play harmless <laughs> offering. Give it to your oh opponent. Oh my god! And then you target Alpha Brawl on Stuffy doll so that. Every single creature of theirs <laughs> hits their stuffy doll and hits them. Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> oh my god! That that's, seems that's spice. super hot, and it loses to control because control has no creatures. Yeah. Wow. But it seems spicy. Well, then you just give you just give your opponent more creatures. Yeah. <laughs> just harmless hard, offering of an entire field. <laughs> just get here. I would like you to have all of these creatures. Why? I would like all of them to fight that stupid doll. 
<laughs> I'd rather you oh, didn't, to be honest. <laughs> I'd prefer if that didn't happen. All right, or so what's Austin? All plus fights. Yeah, I guess it's me. All what's right. Austin's actual card now? Austin, build around Aether Snap. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Hell is Aether Snap? <laughs> that's nope. That's not right. Is it two words? <laughs> It's it's it too high yeah. I'm pretty sure. It's, it's that not explains. High oh, it's not boy. <laughs> what do we got here? All right, all right. Oh, all right. wait, no, no, no. I get it. It's it's a counter to team or energy, right? <laughs> Except I it doesn't it remove counters from players. Oh, oh that's yeah. true. All right. So, as is every argument that makes sense from mine, uh, or from me, I should say. Uh, why isn't Dark Depths legal and modern? But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, turn five, right? five turn five flying flying indestructible. It seems fine. Calm down. We have Path to Exile. Um, <laughs> <laughs> edict effects. We have Mono White and Edict yeah, effects. We'll be fine. Um. Okay. So I'm trying to think. You could probably play something. Mm. Oh, I have an idea for this one. Okay. So. It exiles all counters from all permanents, and that's pretty lame and doesn't really do anything. Yeah. But it also exiles all tokens. So what if we play Genesis Chamber okay. with a bunch of, like, sack outlets, like Aristocrat style, right? And then we can use Aether Snap to remove all of our opponent's tokens after they've made a bunch and they can't do anything. Like, we don't want them to have creatures because that seems lame, right? Who needs creatures? <laughs> But what's the win con? I was just gonna run into the hunted deck. He's not wrong. Ooh, I got it. Um, so you're already in aristocrats, right? So like yeah. you have the Genesis Chamber and you're making creatures for like both players, like a bunch of creatures, mm -hmm. right? And then you play a blood artist, and then oh no, because it's die triggers. It, yeah, it exiles them. Yeah. yeah. Dang it, Bobby. I know, right? Okay, I don't so know where you do what you do with either snap. Jack, I've you got have a better idea. All right. you so you know the hunted mechanic. Yeah. Where, oh, okay, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, so you get your creatures, they get the tokens, and then you either snap and their tokens are gone. So you played two cards to make an over-costed creature. So yes, like, yes. Effectively, what you're doing, though, is that you're making those all of those hunted creatures cost five more, which means they either cost too much <laughs> yeah. or they're not worth it. No, 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 it's worth it, because, right, you run uh, Omni Spell Adept and just... <laughs> But it, it still costs three. five. It's still no, because you you get a body out of it. This seems bad. Oh my god! I, I mean, feel like I feel like the, the, somehow, the hunted this is the, somehow worse. The hunted mechanic will work better in the torpor orb deck. Oh my Correct. god! You're right. We need to make that a thing. That could <laughs> buy into it now, ladies and gentlemen. Torpor orb. I don't know how the you bring it modern. now. Oh, and mainboard torpor orb actually seems really good because you know humans and other. I really like decks. the card either stamp. How do I not? Oh my god, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> There's just it's a good, it's a good card that doesn't have a home. Yeah, it's just so sweet, but like, it's definitely a commander card. Oh, is there absolutely a commander card? Oh. I, I don't, just know, don't think it's a modern card. Playing it in a sideboard, if for some reason like. Super Friends becomes way too good in modern. Yeah. I, I was about to say, is there, like, walkers. any card that you yeah. remove counters from it and you win the game, but Marat Lodge is banned in modern, so... Yeah, yeah, the only other cards that I can think of, they put counters on, and they're not, like, a countdown. Yeah. Right. And things that have suspend aren't permanents on the field, so... Correct. Ugh. Is there a... Wait... To go to go to Jack and then I'm gonna come back to me. Yeah. All right. Hit me. Uh, Jack. Your card is Bizarre Trader. <laughs> oh, that's spicy. <laughs> yeah. All right. I gotta think for a second. <laughs> World, <laughs> huh? Of course. <laughs> I gotta take a second here. <laughs> okay. So I think this just goes in the stuffy doll deck that we were just talking about. Not wrong. <laughs> you put it in the deck with Alpha Brawl. <laughs> That's it's cheating. Another, it's just another donation effect. 
There's got to be a creature with like a stupid downside that you can just okay. give your opponent. I at one point I was building this deck. I'm assuming that's where you got half of these cards. Well, Bizarre Trader, yeah. But, uh, so there is a four-drop artifact creature that says if this creature is is under the control of a player that does not own it, you they sack that creature and they take ten. Oh, yeah, I know that card. You and then you hit Sega second right them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's not even very good because Tristani Discordant just gives it back to you. I did it. What did you do? With either I, I got either snap. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Give me two seconds. We'll gather our loads. <laughs> oh Jesus! Because it's taking its sweet time. <clears throat> I'm afraid. Okay. So we go in modern format. Right. We type in. Okay. Oh, we can do both. Okay. So twenty six. So you're probably in Abzan, because obviously you need black, but a lot of the creatures kind of fall into it. Yeah. There are 26 creatures with the Persist mechanic, and 23 with Undying. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> How do you play yeah. all of the Persist creatures? I feel like you just play Solemnity. That just seems better. I mean, yeah, but this is like Solemnity 5 through 8. <laughs> and you kill Marju Pyromancer. Accurate. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, the other thing is that so uh there's a lot of different ways to like play this, but it, it mostly works with undying because with persist you'd rather probably just run like Malyra. Yeah. Right. Uh, and at that point you're just Malyra pod <laughs> without pod. Podless, but podless Merlyra pod seems good. Podless, podless pod. pod, yeah, yeah. But like, there are a lot of undying creatures that are very good. That removing their counters would make them insanely stupid. Like Young Wolf. <laughs> yeah, Young Wolf is super good. Ooh. ooh, ooh. <laughs> Wait a minute. So now ooh, I'm sitting here thinking about this. I've got a deck idea. Okay. For like another podcast, not not today. I'll talk about oh, it some okay. other time. Okay. Yeah. You want next week? Uh, you want a bonus round, real quick? Bo All bonus right. mean? Yeah. Bonus yeah. Box? Gr group effort. Cast through All time. Right. Yeah. Cast through time. All instances of sorceries you cast have a rebound. Yeah. Oh boy. I know what that card does. <laughs> Ew! Approach Stop. the second sun. <laughs> 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 We did oh, it, boys. <laughs> that's 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 gross. That's stupid. Wow. <laughs> and I love it. Oh Jesus. I mean, it does kind of like just win the game, right? I mean, you have to cast um. Oh, what's the name of it? The the stupid enchantment we were just talking about. Yeah, you have to time. cast cast through time. Cast through you time. you time. win on turn cast nine. You win on you turn, turn nine. Mana, right? Yeah, you win on mana? turn nine. Well, no. You... you cast through time, oh, then you yeah. approach, then you approach again <laughs> no 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 no. we play all of the birds of paradise noble hierarchs right you ramp up as fast as you possibly can yeah um you can even play like search for tomorrows and oh you play um put it in an amulet dictate of karametra or heartbeat of spring to make you know all lands cap for two you know what else you play what <laughs> utopia tree yeah and you play all of the ramp spells all of the dorks right yeah and then you slam an Omni spell adept or whatever. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Jesus. That's Got instant or okay, sorcery, then, though. And then you're just like, cast through time, tap this, cast. Um, From approach of the second sun? Approach the second sun. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. I need to look at Omni spell adept. It's only instant or sorcery. sorcery. Yeah. Yeah, it's any instant or sorcery. You ramp into cast through time, and then you cast. Approach of the Second Sun. And then you play it again without paying its mana cost and you win. Why don't we just play Sneak and Show? <laughs> Dude, you're right. Let's Jeez. just play Show She's and Tell in Modern. What's the worst that could happen? Exactly. You go 03 drop. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> got him. <Sure> do. <laughs> All right. I've got a sweet brew for some other time. Sounds All good. Right. We well, I'd say that was your that. stupid joke that you were trying to make. <laughs> trying to make me build around Aether Snap like some kind of monster. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna I mean, you are a monster, but everyone's that's, gonna, that's gonna that's hear that's Aether that's Snap at some point in time. Oh, no. <laughs> right. On this podcast at a different so it's gonna, day. We're gonna be sitting at F and M, and then we're gonna hear across the room Aether, Aether Snap. snap. <laughs> And they're gonna be like, please stop. <laughs> they're gonna be like, oh, please no. stop. I have a family. Yeah. <laughs> These creatures had a wife and kids. Guys, it's an infinite combo deck. It's fine. It's totally <laughs> fine. Don't worry about it. Guys, it's just show and tell. Calm down. Can you, can you figure it out? No. God, no. No? I save it. Scepter. We'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. This is not Dragon Ball Z. Someone hurt this... him. Wait a minute. No. I, can I will later. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs>